Good morning boys and girls, welcome back. We are still solving simultaneous equations and we have to use the substitution method. Yeah, so we're solving two equations simultaneously at the same time. Yeah? For which x, for which value of y are both equations true? Okay, now I'm going to do this question twice, one time in this video and I'll do another video uh, with the same question because I want to give you basically two uh, I want to show you two ways to solve this one. Okay, it's both inv both involves the substitution method. Yeah, because I want to give you as many tools, as many strategies as possible. All right, really to increase your understanding. Okay, substitution method. I'm going a little bit quicker now than the previous video. I've got to pick one equation and one variable in that equation, and I make that the subject. And I will substitute that information then in the other equation. Okay, that's a lot of a lot of words. But what does that translate to on paper? Now, let me see. Does it really matter which equation I pick? Can I make a proper choice? Well, I'll pick the first equation and I'll make x the subject. So the first equation, it says x plus y equals 11. I'm going to make x the subject. X equals 11 minus y. Now, it didn't really matter in this case if I would have made x or y the subject. It never matters. However, sometimes by making a proper choice, you can avoid creating all sorts of fractions. Okay? Have a look at the previous video for an example of that. Now, it didn't matter. x equals 11 minus y. I'm going to substitute that information now in the other equation. So I wrote down the first one. I'm going to write down the second equation now which says, well, x minus y minus 1 equals 0. Now, I have said that x is 11 minus 1. Yeah, so now I'm going to substitute that information in this equation. So I'm going to swap the x for, have uh, 1x for 1 times 11 minus y. Minus y minus 1 equals 0. So the 1x becomes 1 times 11 minus y, then I continue the equation, minus y, minus 1 equals 0. And now I can work this out, 1 times 11 is 11, 1 times minus y, minus y, minus y, minus 1 equals 0. Now let's simplify the left side, yeah, so 11, I have minus 1, that will be 10, and minus y, minus y, is minus 2y and that equals 0. Okay, I want to find out the value of y, so I'm going to add 2y on both sides. Uh, did you see what I just did? Oh, that one is still closed. I plused it by 2y here, so I've got to plus it on the right side as well. 10 equals 2y, that makes y. Yeah, you really need to be comfortable with the algebra right now. Eh? You, you notice that I go a little bit quicker. So y equals, I'm going to continue here, 10 divided by 2, that is 5. Okay, I found the value of y. I'm not finished yet, got to find the value of x. And I do that by substituting that value in one of the equations. But I always use that one because it's already rearranged. x is already the subject, 11 minus y y is 5, 11 minus 5, which is 6. So the answer to this solution or to this problem is x is 6 and y is 5. Then both equations are correct. Okay, now I always check that to, to be sure. 6 plus y, so sorry, x plus y, 6 plus y plus 5 is 11, 6 plus 5 is 11, it is 11, fantastic, all right, let's check the other one, x, so that is 6 minus y, minus 5, minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is indeed 0, you see, guaranteed you get a problem like this on your exam, guaranteed it's worth a lot of points, yeah, they give you these problems to help you, yeah, because you can do this, okay? Write down your workings, okay? Be confident, and when you check yourself at the end, you know if you're right or wrong. And perhaps you've made a bit of a silly mistake there, somewhere in the middle, huh? So you can check that and, um, yeah, and then do it over and do it properly then. All right, okay, have a look at the next uh, video, then I'll do the same question, 
but a slightly different route I will take. I want to show it to you. Okay, there we go.